Welcome back. We are talking about a difficult topic, I think, for many people to talk about. We're talking about infertility issues and also how you can get help with them if you're wondering. Right. And today we are joined by Nurse Danny from Intermountain Moms. She is here to tell us some important information. Many couples want to know what they can do to increase their chances of getting pregnant. That's a big question, isn't it? It is a big question, one that a lot of couples seem to have right now. Mm -hmm. Um, there are some things you can do. The most important thing to do is track your cycles because that will help you know when you're most fertile. And there's about a six day window every month when you can get pregnant and it's five days before ovulation and the day of ovulation. And so if you, you want to obviously time intercourse with ovulation to increase your chances of getting pregnant because when you ovulate an egg is released that can then be fertilized by sperm. And sperm can live in a woman's reproductive tract for three to five days. And so that's where that three to five day window comes in. Perfect. I think a lot of people too, when they start getting frustrated at home and stressed out, they don't know when it's time to be frustrated and go talk to a doctor and when it's too soon, they should just maybe chillax a little and yeah. stay at home and just try to, you know, take nature, take its course. Yeah. yeah. Um, the good news is most couples get pregnant within about six months. So, you know, if you've just been trying for a couple of months, don't freak out and think, oh, you know, get really discouraged about it because not everyone gets pregnant right away. 85% of couples are pregnant after a year, and if it's taken you a year or more, then it's time to see a doctor. So it's not unusual. You're not no. abnormal because no. we talked earlier about how a lot of people end up adopting or yes. they'll go to fertility treatments only to find out right before they start treatment that they're pregnant, right? <laughs> yeah, then they have two kids six months apart. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, that happens often. Yeah. So what can you do to, to uh, improve your, your body or your health to help you get pregnant? Um, well, in addition to tracking your cycles, and you need to know when you're ovulating. It's not a perfect science. Most women ovulate about um, 12 to 16 days before they're going to start their next period. But sometimes it's a little bit less or a little bit more. So let's say your cycle is normally 28 days. You're probably ovulating around day 14, or if your cycle was 30 days, it's probably like day 16. But because it's not a perfect science, there's some things you can do. like. Over-the-counter ovulation tests have helped a lot of people because it's kind of like a pregnancy test. If you mm -hmm. get a positive result, you're most fertile. You're in that fertile time. Mm -hmm. And so if you time intercourse with ovulation, it increases your chances of getting pregnant. It's detecting a luteinizing hormone surge that your body has. So just kind of know your body and pay yeah, attention. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. The timing. Does age matter when you're dealing with this? I know that sometimes when you're an older couple, you're thinking, all right, I need to get to the doctor sooner to find help. Is that true? Or same thing, just wait a year and then see how things go? Um, it actually is true. Women who are over 35 have an increased risk of infertility. So if you're starting to have kids later in life, then you maybe you'll want to talk to your doctor after about six months of trying without any success. Good advice. So yeah, yeah age is a big determining factor. Yeah, it can All be. Right. Nurse Danny, thank you so much for joining us with great Thanks information. Thanks for having me. All right.